What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as Poland. In the previous part, we liberated our remaining friends, England and Greece. They're now they're now free to, to, to go to a better place. And now all that remains is this one little Sumerian city. And of course there's my big pal China over in Africa. Wait, am I saying that right? Yeah, Africa. Uh, so that's uh, that's the dealio. We're gonna have to take care of him take out his cities um, Wow, okay Looks like Sumeria has converted a lot of people to his religion, which is what? Judaism, okay, yeah, apparently he converted a lot of um, I Think my cities actually yeah, over here. He, he converted a lot of stuff there. Uh, luckily, it's not enough though. He doesn't have a majority in my cities, and he's not going to be able to do that anyway, because we're going to take him out. So basically, our army is still resting up from the war uh, that we just end up, ended up uh, fighting. Basically, we do want to take out Sumeria and the few Chinese troops that we see here, and we want to take Shenyang. Just you know, get rid of that, and then we'll use that as sort of a jumping-off point to go into Africa. And see exactly where this dude's capital is. No forgiveness for polyester. On this one matter, Satan and the Lord are in agreement. All right, so we can get helicopters now. Yes, upgrade for you. That would be great. So basically, my navy. Let's see. Let's go over there. We're going to send our navy to some Chinese uh, city. I think we're going to go to either... Guang I think Guangzhou would be a good idea because it's sort of central. It's kind of big. Uh, meaning that if we end up taking it, it would be really, really bad for China. Sure, I'll take that. Go. And go. I won't need too many troops to take out Sumeria's last city. This guy really needs to heal up. Sure. Alright. I think if we send in just like uh, two machine guns and one tank or something, that should be enough to take Samira's last city. Uh, they're really weak. I mean, they just are. I feel kind of bad for the guy. I honestly should have just finished him off when I had the chance. I feel kind of bad that I didn't do that. But, you know... Hindsight is is 2020. All right, so this guy's gonna heal. He does deser deserve a, a sweet commendation for giving us London. Right, go, go. Not entirely sure which units I can move and which ones I cannot. Uh, let's see. So we own three tanks, so it's gonna be pretty easy to get something like um. Composites, which allows us to upgrade our our tanks, I guess, to modern armor. Uh, at the same time, though, I would love uh, mechanized infantry, which is right here. That would be a nice one to have. Nuclear submarines, lasers for missile cruisers. That would be good. That would be sweet. All right, so let's grab this writer and that and that. And let's uh, trade with... We're running out of trade partners. Not that it matters because we have more than enough cash as it is. There we go. A helicopter. Uh, the cavalry isn't that good anymore. So an upgrade was absolutely necessary. Right. This guy needs to leave. Okay. We're going to have to wait one turn. Before we can... Oh, wait. Write me something, man. right when he said that one must believe in the possibility of happiness in order to be happy. And I now believe in it. Let the dead bury the dead. But while I'm alive, I must live and be happy. Sweet. All right, so we got a lot of, um... Wait, what? Right, we're getting a lot of culture, a little bit of gold, and some faith, apparently. How are we getting gold from... Okay, apparently we, we're getting gold from this. I don't know how that works. Might be a religion thing. I have no clue. Right, so this guy's basically where he needs to be then. 
Come on, just actually let me fight my war, please. It's gonna take forever to get everything set up. This is going to be the most annoying thing. Um, also, we have to take out this musket man and the settler since they're in my territory, so they could actually do some damage if we don't uh, take them out nice and quick. So I'm gonna actually get, let's say, two tanks. There we go, and they'll they'll take care of that. Shipyard, monument, sewer. Don't care, so sewer, water mill. All right, here we are. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm actually gonna send this guy towards uh, China's troops over here, and then also Lag Lagash was it called? Yep. Uh, we want to take care of that real quick. I'm also sending in the helicopter. And uh, let's send this one infantry, and that really should just about do it. The rest of my units will wait outside of uh, Shenyang. Where we will commence the attack on China. And then my navy will focus on Guang Zhou. Yep. Uh, okay. Write me some more. All the girls in the world were divided into two classes. One class included all the girls in the world except her, and they had all the usual human feelings and were very ordinary girls, while the other class, herself alone, had no weaknesses and was superior to all humanity. All right. Thank you. That was so nice. Um, right. My fleet. I'm going to do that and go, go, go. Go. Alright, this guy can actually just go here, maybe. That might be an idea. I mean, at the end of the day, China probably doesn't have the technology to really stop a tank. So, we should be alright. Okay, let's see. This guy needs to embark. Go. Go. Alright, that's my navy right there. Just wait there. Until I give you other orders. Okay, yeah, your opinion isn't really worth anything. Just like your last city isn't really worth anything. Because it's garbage. This is in the desert. All he has is some invisible elephants. I just feel bad for the guy. Uh, but I am going to actually take him out. Just to, just to help him out. There we go. Nice little promotion. Alright, you go over there. This guy's gonna go over here. And we are almost ready to declare our war. I'm just gonna wait for my navy to get slightly closer to, to his city. There we go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. What else? All right. So over in the capital, we can make an airport, spaceport. We could make a sweet wonder. Thing is, I don't really care about any of that. So I'll just make a bomber. In Rome, let's grab a tank. Athens can get me a sewer. Fix that water mill. Right, so these guys are ready. You know what? I think we're just about ready to just declare war on, on China. So I'm just going to do it. Hey, man. This is a war of territorial expansion. I'm sure you understand. Wait, what does it say? A slightly lower war warmonger penalty. I don't want anybody to know... That maybe... That maybe secretly I am a warmonger. I know I've been denying it this whole game, guys, but... That was just a joke. Uh, we are a little bit warmongery. But we're doing it for the, like, the good of the world. Not because I want to. I'm not evil. F Can you fire? Alright, so this is... A uh, unit's actually just got evicted from my land. Somehow. Does that even work? I don't think that works, does it? No, it does not. It says it works, but it does not work. Okay. That's my favorite. 
All right, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Blast down those walls. That's not entirely enough. So basically, we cannot take down their walls. Yeah, probably should have waited one more turn. I'll, I'll do this, though. Just do a little bit more damage. Like, these tanks are indestructible when you're going up against smaller... Right, forgot about this guy. Leave. Run. Run for your life. Uh, if you're going up against smaller cities, you can, you can absolutely destroy everybody with tanks. It's pretty insane and cool. All right, let's uh, operate at two levels higher. And if necessary, you can always break down their production things. I don't think it is going to be necessary. Yeah, that they're going to go after my little, my little guy. There's, he's just an engineer. You don't have to murder him. Dude, that's, that's rough. That's rough. But, you know, at least they got one victory out of that, I guess. What even was the point of that? They did like no damage. They're, they also have a settler just standing there. Which I will steal now. Seeing as they've just, you know, given it to me. Cold war is not thawing. It is burning with a deadly heat. Right. I don't want to change any of my policies. I'm all good. Fire. All right, taking that settler, finishing off the the musket man, heal. There we go. It's all good. All right, so we got rid of their units in my lands. That's that's nice. Now we're gonna go after Sumeria, and they're nice and close to me. But more importantly, let's take Shenyang finally. This is so easy. This is a little, just too easy, if you ask me. And escort. Go. Alright, my main... What are you doing? Stupid battleships. Okay. Uh, the main battleship formation is definitely going to be the most important part. Here. Take that. There you go. Uh-huh. Still got this guy. And this fella is on his way as well. All right, so let's take Shen Yang. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, this guy needs to shoot, get some experience. Hello? Apparently, he can't reach it. All right. No experience for him, then. Kill him. Enemy down. All right, moving on. We are crossing the ocean, because we can do that. So why not just take advantage immediately? There we go. Right, we're dealing with some small troops here. It's, we're good. Uh, I'll keep it. Most of these things don't really matter at this point anymore. Is there any one of these that we can steal? Not really. Guess I'll just get a bunch of extra culture. Not that it really matters, but you know, let's grab it. Uh, you can go. You're good. Actually, we could just go into Palenki's territory. I totally forgot we had a battleship here. That's actually quite useful. Because we can do some damage with that. There we go. Right, this guy is going to have to disembark uh, next turn. Straight with that, Bordeaux will do. Right, this little guy, go. Join your friends. Alright, so we got Shen Yang in the pocket. We're going to take Lagash in like no time. I honestly don't know how big their their military really is. Yeah, they got some decent military strength, but pillage an enemy farm. Where might that be? 
I wish I knew where that was. Maybe he pillaged Polanki? Ah, that's yep, that must be it. Okay. Yeah, they're on my side, which is kind of neat. Alright, take them out, boys. No enemies in my territory, please, and thank you. Don't worry, Palanky, we're here to help. We're gonna save all y'all. I'm actually just gonna run around Sumeria for now because I wanna take out these troops. He's got like a small little group of units that I do wanna take out. Yeah, that's annoying because the AT crew basically is, it's an anti-tank crew. Like that's literally what they do, so. Basically like a perfect counter to a tank. All right, you need to heal. Don't even know how that guy got injured. Go. All right, go. Will that work? No, it will not. Oh, but this guy can hit him. See ya, buddy. You made a big mistake. Sadly, this guy cannot attack twice or he would have been dead. Uh, sure, got that. University. Sewer. And, okay, we're gonna have to wait a little longer. So will you. We got a free settler. Where am I gonna settle? I guess I could settle there, what's the point? There's no point in even settling any, any, anywhere. I own the entire world. All right, just go over there, we'll settle there. Because why not? Might as well just do it. All right, go over there. Alright, so the first battleship is uh, bound to arrive at Guangzhou. Uh, cannot reach that. Alright, we're going to have to go around the encampment. Because we don't want to take any damage there. There we go. It's going to be okay. We'll, we'll take Guangzhou. It'll just take a little while. Not the end of the world. It's the end of his, his world. But not, not, not of, of mine. I'll be alright. Oh, what's up? That's bad. That's very bad. Did not expect him to have a submarine just lying out there. Alright, we're gonna have to uh, combat that. Can I get a submarine, please? Apparently not. Well, oh, here we go. Alright, get one of those. You know what, just for, for good measure, let's get two. Just wanna make sure that we can... Uh, deal with all of this because he's gonna blast my my little infantry possibly to death no he's all right took a lot of damage though gotta gotta get rid of this little guy who's invisible now again yeah this guy's still within range of my artillery so too bad for him the ingenuity of your great person is unlock new scientific ideas okay said, let there be light he surely must have meant perfectly coherent light. Missile cruisers. Those must be really good. All right. Let's see. Can we actually get... Okay. I want to get rid of this guy. He annoys me. Do that. All right. Let's get this guy. What's up, fool? I can see you. You think I just get my artillery like that? No, -uh. that's hella rude. Yes, yeah, so that would be bad. He's got a lot of AT crews. Gonna have to get rid of those. All right, let's get a missile cruiser. I wish I um, I'd gotten that upgrade a little bit sooner because that would make t make taking Guangzhou so much easier. But, uh, it is what it is. Alright, go. 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 Everybody go. We're gonna make it. Alright, and after we, uh, you know, if we start attacking this city, he's gonna have to send some troops down there to defend it. Which will make it a lot easier for me to strike. And do some damage. Alright, tank. That's not gonna work. Um, let's get you over there. 
so that when the uh, field cannon disembarks, we actually have a pretty good shot at him instantly. Rocket artillery, that would be so amazing on some of these troops. Uh, let's see. All right, you go there. You cannot escape me, China. I am too powerful. You will bow. Let's see. What do we need? I guess there's more troops at the end of the day is what we really need. Uh, missile cruiser. All right, let's get a missile cruiser. Why not? This guy will embark. Arena. Stock exchange. Sewer. Sewer. So it's just the go-to thing to make when there's just nothing that you actually give a damn about. Just make sewers. It is always good. Okay, let's see. This guy can't really do anything quite yet. I'm gonna wait here. All right, that's another little tank that we got. Go. What is he building there? Oh, that's my fort. He murdered that engineer. We're gonna have to take revenge for him. Go. All right, so we're gonna take Han, Han Don first. Then we move in from this side, which is probably where his capital is anyway. And then our navy will attack Guangzhou and just keep attacking that. That way he'll sort of have to divide his army. And it's not gonna go well for him. knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Man, I don't care about culture or history. I care about killing. Why are there barbarians here? How did that happen? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me just grab a frickin' missile cruiser. Seems like a good idea. Still have a lot of money left, so I can still do these things. Uh, sure, I've got some cosmetics. Sure, we can use those. Seaport. Sewer. Definitely sewer. I don't think China actually has any allies, so... Right, they have Jerusalem, and that's about it. Let's slowly try and uh, supplant them as uh, their suzerain. All right, go. Boom. Give me some cosmetics. We need them. Desperately. Our people look really ugly. Fire. See, that's a nice victory. I like that. And luckily, we have the support of the neighboring city-state. Yeah, I'll take that, actually. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need this guy on dry land. Where he can actually hit the city. Right, this guy, go. This fella really needs to heal, so he'll go there. Alright, let's protect our, our troops that are crossing the, uh, the ocean. We're just gonna take it nice and slow. It's got a bunch of artillery set up here, which we can destroy... Not instantly, but nice and quickly. Like, we do some good damage there. Let's just see if we can get another tank that way. Alright, this guy's in my way now. Yup, there we go. Oh, we got some moves left. And now we're out. No, now we're out. Okay, yep. Uh, machine gun. Let's not just rush towards the city. That's quite dangerous. What I really wanted to focus on right now was... Matt's slot upgrades. No extra range, though. Which would have been really nice. Okay. Right, so you're gonna cross... What I wanted to do was attack Guangzhou a couple times. As you can see, the damage really isn't bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. And especially once we get more battleships within this area. It's only going to go up from there. But if we get too close to the encampment, we'll start taking a lot of damage. Alright, we're going to have to take down this encampment. And get a bunch of experience while we do that. Destroyers, these guys are kind of useless right now. A submarine and one more battleship. All right. Looks good. Guangzhou is uh, taking a bit of damage. He's fighting mostly up uh, up north. 
which is good for me. Okay, his military strength is, is going down pretty steadily. Whereas mine, it should be going up. Man, Palanke is probably really regretting the decision to be my ally right now. Because their whole city is in ruins. Why is the artillery barely firing? Where's the sense in this? Go. Destroy their artillery. They don't deserve it. Alright, let's see. I think it's about time we start attacking Hanzan. And that should do it. All right, so this guy can only attack once, but he's got... Right, he can exp he can attack after moving. That's like the great upgrade that he's got. All right, let's get you over there again. Okay, wrong guy. I actually wanted to move you. All right, you need to heal. Yeah, we're going to take Hans on. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. This guy can actually leave now. There is... Taiwan. Okay. Not the capital, though. Not the capital. So... Alright, let's see. Let's get... Can we just get, like, something... We have a bomber now. Who I wish we could relocate over the ocean, but we can. We could go to Bradford, but that's not going to be good enough. Alright, we need another one of these aerodrome thingies. So I guess for now, we'll just use him for defense or something. Um, let's see, what else can we get? Maybe an army of artillery. Sure, that'll do. Let's get an extra one of those because it's going to be rocket artillery soon. And okay. Looking good. Pillage. And this guy can't do anything, so we're going to have to wait. Uh, but next turn, we'll probably be able to take out Han Zan, or Han Dan. And we still got some damage to do down here. Alright, go. This guy is really good at attacking the city. I guess because he's got that damage against district defenses thing. Like, that's just really good. I wish I'd gotten that on more of these. Slowly but surely, we will take Guangzhou. And ideally, I'd like to try and do it without going down. Yep, that'll work. Just get some experience. You know, just little rascals do some, do some damage down there. Uh, these guys are good. They can actually just alert or fortify or whatever. Right, Samira is still my way. Okay, so we're stuck there. Whatever. I will allow Sumeria to witness my my victory when everybody else is gone. They can they can look at me and see what I've done to the world. I'll I'll allow it. Let's get another missile cruiser. Bomber. Can we bomb that? There we go. Turns out it was not useless to get these at all. And for some reason, amenities aren't even going that low. I thought they'd be going a lot lower than, like, minus two. Turns out that being a giant warmonger is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it is for other people, but it's not for me. All right, let's, uh... Yes, maybe this guy can protect Guangzhou after we take it. Because something tells me we're going to need some land troops in the area soon as it's gone. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. In the next part, we will take Han Dan at least. I know that for a fact. We're going to take Guangzhou. And then we're going to go after, first of all, uh, Taiwan. Take that and then go after the guy's capital. So I'm guessing it's going to be maybe one or two more parts before we emerge uh, victorious. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.